Well, Anthony Weiner waking up this morning out of two jobs after a third sexting scandal. The ramifications already reverberating throughout the political world as Hillary Clinton's closest aide, Huma Abedin, announces her split from Weiner and Donald Trump instantly using the opening to attack his rival. We've got two reports this morning. We'll start with NBC's Kristen Welker. Kristen, good morning. Savannah, good morning to you. Today, the Clinton campaign is grappling with the fallout of Huma Abedin's split from Anthony Weiner. Hillary Clinton and Abedin are so close. At one point, she referred to her as his second daughter. Now, this deeply personal matter is becoming political fodder. This morning, Anthony Weiner seen in this photo from DailyMail.com on his own and out of work. The disgraced former congressman now on indefinite leave from his position as a political pundit on local cable channel New York One. As the New York Daily News says it will no longer publish his opinion columns. The news coming hours after longtime Clinton confidant Huma Abedin, last seen in public Sunday night at a Hamptons fundraiser, announced her split with Weiner, saying, after long and painful consideration and work on my marriage, I have made the decision to separate from my husband, adding the two remain devoted to doing what is best for our son. It follows a New York Post report that Weiner sent sexually suggestive messages to a woman online, including a picture of Weiner in his underwear, lying next to a toddler who the Post says is his son. Weiner telling the Post he and the woman have been friends for some time, insisting their conversations were always appropriate, deleting his Twitter account on Monday. Donald Trump trying to capitalize on the news, saying in a statement, Huma is making a very wise decision. I know Anthony Weiner well, and she will be far better off without him. Trump also suggesting, without any evidence, that Weiner could have had access to classified information from his wife. Clinton's campaign firing back at Trump. We're not dignifying that with a response. I'm announcing my resignation from Congress. The saga began in 2011 when a sexting scandal cost Weiner his house seat. It is a shame! Two years later, his comeback bid for New York City mayor was derailed by more revelations of inappropriate behavior online as Abedin stood by her husband. It took a lot of work and a whole lot of therapy to get to a place where I could forgive Anthony. But behind the scenes, a documentary filmmaker captured her private pain. How are you doing today? It's like having a nightmare. Even as Weiner told Savannah, he was a changed man. I think that I've, you know, with with help of my wife, with help of professionals, I've I've got behind me. Now it's Abedin's turn to move on. Some child care experts and one state senator are now calling on Child Protective Services to investigate Weiner for possible neglect. We reached out to Weiner so far, no response. But one Democratic source tells me that he was with Abedin in the Hamptons over the weekend. He returned here to Manhattan once the story broke. Abedin continues in the Hamptons where Hillary Clinton is on that fundraising swing. Savannah, Matt. Kristen Welker, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.